Ah, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hey guys, you join us this week with my decision to play Batman Arkham Origins. It would have helped if I'd turned the microphone on. Ha <laughs> ha, carry on. <laughs> you turned mine on, didn't you? Yeah, no, that's yours right. is working. <laughs> so that's me looking like an idiot for four minutes. But, uh, Fedek, uh... First thing to say about this game, latest one released, uh... Made by Warner Brothers Studios, not Rocksteady, uh, because as it was re- revealed at E3, Rocksteady were working on what's now the Arkham Knight. Uh, Warner Brothers wanted another game, so they created their own studio specifically just to make this game. Batman has also designed this suit to emphasise his crotch. I don't like this suit. I think <laughs> it's horrible. Compared to the other the others that were in the Arkham City and Asylum. And now we've seen the Arkham Knight suit, which looks awesome. This... Well, to put it lightly, it looks like hockey pads. It does, yeah. <sighs> oh dear. Oh well, let's crack on. Now, apparently we need to go and deactivate something, so... If only there was a signal. Is that where, is that the thing that you've got to deactivate? That's not just the bat signal. <laughs> <laughs> so it is that simple. Yeah. So, why are they putting bat signals on top of the targets? Well, why are there so many is what I'm worried about. <laughs> Because yeah. they're above every market. Oh, whoever designed this game needs to be shot because they've got this bridge. It's huge. And you can't get... There's no other way around it unless you use the bat, the bat wing. Right. And there's a 50% chance that you Is that across to the other island? Yeah, there's a 5% chance that you'll ruin the game for doing it because the game was pretty broken when it was released. Oh, right. And using the, uh... Ah, hello. <laughs> Isn't that the idea, though? They did, like, a GTA-style <laughs> thing where they block off the bridges because they're terrorists or something like that. No, um... The story in this one is, uh... The reason why there's no people walking around. It's Christmas Eve, uh... No one's around. That's right. it. Right. That's it. Yeah. They're all indoors for the snowstorm. All oh, right. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, so Batman decided it might be a good idea to uh, go out on Christmas Eve. He's got oh. to play. Oh. It's because he's got no one to spend Christmas Eve with because of his dead parents. Dog. Yes. We are no parents. <laughs> Two minutes fifty-one in, and Dave's made that desperate Lego movie joke that he's been desperate to make. I've Ever since <laughs> I revealed that we were going to do this game. <laughs> Other dark things. Guns I haven't drawn. seen it yet. Uh, wow. It better be good. It's had so much hype around it now, it better be good. <laughs> right. First thing to say for people who have played this out or the other Arkham games thinking of playing it. This I has continuity errors tonight, in abundance. Firstly, <laughs> you will notice that I'm using the grapnel accelerator. Which you haven't got at this point. Which I don't have at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which you don't have until Arkham City. Yeah, exactly. I don't but then again, in Arkham City, doesn't he just get all his gear sent to him? Yeah, but in Arkham City... Oh, it's an upgrade, isn't it? No, it? in Arkham City, you've got to complete a Wayne Tech upgrade. Oh, right, yeah. Um, in Arkham City, it's explained that... Uh, it's, it hadn't been tested yet. Although it clearly has been tested because, because you're Because you used it. Because you're yeah. testing it as we speak. We are, actually. Um, so, yeah, that makes a little bit of no, little to no sense. Two, uh, Killer Croc is in this. We skipped it because that is a very tedious boss fight at the start. Looks absolutely yeah, nothing like... Uh, well, how he does in the other games. Which might not be a bad thing. Maybe it's been being picky. I like I'm yeah, this this entire map is modelled on the Arkham City map because it's, it's oh, like right. the idea that this section later became Arkham City. There's a few nods to how th- how certain things got into hey, certain states. Not well, like time the changes flooded hands in the city. The, can't the flooding they s- in the press release they said they explain that they don't. Are, it's climate him. change. But penguins are the ozone. I like this at these images. This it kind of imagery. He oh, designed well, we, that purely like, around the lines. Yeah, we, we, Dave commented so, on the fact that he never enters a room on the basis of ease or stealth. It's on the basis Wait, of what lighting I there is behind him. Uh, yeah. There is evidence to suggest such a thing. Oh my god, it's a gun. 
call it the Call of Duty Ghost reference. Now let's see if you've been naughty or not. Is there? That's a Pulp Fiction <laughs> reference. Yeah, nice. the Call of Duty Ghost reference is the guy. Him, he's wearing a skull bandana. Oh. He is ghost. The must be Not the dog. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> I hated that game. We just started Modern Warfare 3, actually. It ruined the Modern Warfare series. Which one did? Ghosts. Ghosts. Well, it wasn't meant to be, was it? Well, it's no, like you know. Well, what, name one, what is one of the main characters in Call of Duty? Yeah, it is ghost. Well, yeah. Cowabunga! Quota! How is he beaten? No, but didn't he die in two? He died in two because Sheffield killed him. Everybody yeah. Him uh, the only reference that he gets in Call of Duty Ghosts is the dog is named after him. Well, yeah. the dog has the same name as him. Because he wasn't in three at all, was he? Well, he was dead so Yeah, yeah have you played three? I played all of them. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm just at the bit where... So... And Price, you've got, you're the Russian dude, you've got to cover them through this Somali village. Pretty early on, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't do like four, uh, four levels on it. Okay. I don't remember, I really don't know why I'm starting again though, because they've still got the infinite respawn on, haven't they? Mm. It's the whole you have to advance to stop the enemies Where's respawning. The penguin? You can't um, just kill everyone in the area. There was a new gameplay footage released, or well, story, a story trailer for he? Advanced Warfare. Yeah. Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey's in it, Troy Baker's in it as well. Voice of... Damn, uh, really? <laughs> yeah, well he's in everything now, isn't he? Uh, and rightly so, he's up. very good. Um, what the? Oh, Batman. Are you Batman? <laughs> <laughs> Season's greetings, people. Time Maybe we talk. shouldn't have done this as a Christmas Let's Play. Let me go! Um, a Christmas Let's Play, I imagine. Oh, is. I know what a Christmas Let's Play is. Alright, well. Keep that to yourself. We've still got about, what, another five months or I'm so? I'm sure I've got an idea. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, um. Please, stop! But stop. It got, yeah, uh, the world is in okay, ruins behind all the new defense warfare. Um, Too right. late. Oh, the, the other continuity is the issue. Everyone's got cell phones. Uh, in the, the other Arkham games that appear is like a noir sort of setting, so no one has mobiles. Yeah, I could be. Everyone's got smartphones and iPhones and whatever. Um, Alfred, I'm getting interference on my comm systems. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm the world's in the winds. Nuclear attacks. Uh, USA can't defend itself, so it hires a multinational company called Atlas. Uh, uh, right. Run I by Kevin uh, Spacey. I'm guessing that's got something to do with satellites and shit. Is it space? Maybe. Well, Atlas. I'm is just a, thinking about Atlas, Atlas because the world, so. no, Atlas is the god. Uh, that's it was, it was the, the god who's holding the world. So. Yeah. No way. He was tricked into thinking he was holding the world, but he wasn't. He was actually holding the sky up, and that's where mountains come from. There we go. There's your. Is that it? There's your ancient mythology. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. dun. Education. Yeah. Let's have no education around here. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, help run by Kevin Spacey. Um, he uh, so yeah, uh, it it reveals that he's going to then use his army to invade places like Iraq and Iran. Uh, U.S. government obviously say no, surprisingly. Oh yeah, of course. They yeah, do. <laughs> uh, it's then it's but obviously. Oh Kevin, please don't. Kevin Spacey then reveals. Uh, He's, multi he's the owner of a multinational company that's not tied to a country, so he can do whatever he wants. So it, there's a theory that there's a theory that he's going to do that to start an international incident and make the world go to war with America. So he is back on. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. They've done this before. Well, stick to what you know. It's made by, it's made by Sledgehammer Games, isn't it? Because they haven't really, they haven't done any uh, Call of Duty gaming. But aren't they just an offspin of? The last the guys that did the did three, one the Warfare. They are the guys who did three. Oh, I don't th they haven't done a game oh. in a while. But I think wasn't. Uh, oh, just, just ignore that. No, and that. Um, <laughs> he's gonna hit himself in the face. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I wonder if you can do that. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um. Uh, what was that? Oh yeah, 
first try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lee's gonna carry on, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, I uh, the gameplay trailer suggests a sort of gadget-based exoskeleton suit wearing so it's walking tank sort. Of. So it's uh. It's basically Call of Duty, Crisis Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, uh, Edge of Tomorrow edition. Yeah, well, because it's the same suit. They do look wearing. exactly. The, they yep. do look very similar. Um, not sure if I want to see that film. In the trailer, yeah, I want to see that as well. In the trailer, they um, obviously they show off all these gadgets and whatever. I can't help feel that um, they're going to be used once and cast aside, like the the wing suits in Black Ops Two or. Uh, it's filled with brutes who yeah. can't oh, what else was it? through violence and intimidation. I can't... Is there some bearing of the on the space yeah. mission or whatever? Part of me wants them to be there throughout, you know, like an optional thing, because Killzone yeah. Shadowfall did that. All right. You had the opportunity to grapple anywhere. Well, not anywhere. You could grapple down and zip line and stuff like that. It was really yeah. cool. Uh, for some reason, um... Close you to like that. <laughs> Your response is as That's annoying. So I haven't said that. I will buy it and play it. Of course I will, because it would be it would be nothing in short of entertaining. It'll just be a lot no, of the same. The uh, it looks yeah, it yeah, look, graphically. It looks quite impressive as well. So you know, I still haven't played Battlefield Four. Uh, I think story mode will at least. Yeah, I, I know I got one too. I played it on. Um, I really wanted to bring out another bad company. I played it on PS4, so uh, I avoided the multiplayer at all costs <laughs> because of the slight, in the uh, the problems I've been having. I just yeah, I'm it was so annoyed about Battlefield Hardline. Um, so, uh, it's not a Battlefield. It's not a Battlefield. Game. It really isn't. Good. Mark them on my if there aren't tanks, it's I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what to be. It feels like they've just taken Annoyed Battlefield or, Four. Um, they've turned into Call of Duty developers, where they they're not interested in getting a good game out now. They're just interested in getting a game out. So Battlefield. Bad Company Two took they ages to remind me again who makes Battlefield. Exactly. Yeah. EA. Speaking of which, EA Access. Is it Access? I don't know. I, I, don't, know, I don't know anything about this. So. Right. From what I've read, EA are launching a game subscription. Oh, service. God, this is horrible already. Yeah. So it's going to be something like Netflix. It's going to cost three, uh, three ninety nine a month. Okay, price is alright. Yeah, apparently. But it's not being made available on <laughs> PS4. So any of that's because... They don't think it's good value for money, and obviously it's going to interrupt, interfere with their incentive, isn't it? Like the free game. Is that what EA's thing is? Three ninety nine to get free games. I, yeah, I don't know what games they are, and obviously they're just going to be EA games. So it'll be like FIFA, Madden. NHL, they're not going to give FIFA well. away. I'm not too fussed about that. Um, I don't know. It might be good. I, re I suspect that 399 thing had a massive asterisk next to it. So for the first three months, it's a billion pounds a year. Yeah, probably. Uh, and I imagine the games you get with it are EA's, like, lessers. Why is he wearing the Batman Shep glow stick on his head? Oh, that was silly. Um, but I don't know. I think it'd be, it would be a good idea if internet speeds were quicker. Because imagine if you wanted to play two or three games in a month. For me, a ten, like a 10 gig game anyway. Like a on 10 gig on the PS4 and Xbox One, you must be joking. Yeah, exactly. I'd never be able to download them all. It would, ne it would be worth it. Well, the second my warranty runs out on my PS4, I'm ripping the hard drive out and uh, replacing it with a terabyte or something like that. Alright, yeah. You'll need to with all the bloody updates. Um, and the size of them? There's an, there was an update for the PS4 the other day, which... Oh, the PS4s, uh, if you haven't updated yours already, do it now. You can now watch 3D movies on it. Yeah. But enough of that. Um, <laughs> why, because there why, are why so you'd, many. Why you'd want to is beyond me. But there are people... All the all the 3D No, if the PS4 could just start playing CDs, that would be great. It can't play CDs? No. Put a CD in it, <laughs> and it came. It came up with uh, unrecognized format. It doesn't what? Doesn't understand what it meant. Um, what it doesn't understand what it wants. Then again, I guess it is kind of like me trying to jam a cassette into the 360. Well, 
Not right really. Sit <laughs> see these side they? Find the next comms well, no, because you can still buy it. What Blu-ray drive in the world, apart from that one, doesn't play a CD? I don't know. Personally, did. Every, I'm sure every Blu-ray drive does, so what's so special about that? I don't know. I haven't tried it since I first played it, so it might be they've changed that. So when's this EA Access launching? Uh, I, I have no idea. This is the first I've heard of this. You reckon they'll give away decent stuff as well as nah. the dross? <laughs> FIFA 10. <laughs> Which you can get for 25p now. Like, literally, yes, get it for 25p. Don't let him cut yeah, I know. Yes! Oh. Have it. Come here. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Access. Snap! Yeah, this game, graphically, it's actually quite impressive, but when you look at the finer details, like when it zooms in for the takedowns, it's actually pretty glitchy. <laughs> Like the cape really spazzes out sometimes. We eva this is from Sony. We evaluated the EA Access subscription offering and decided that it does not bring the kind of value PlayStation customers have come to expect. Now, I, Sony aren't the kind of people to turn something away if it means they lose out. They've got Netflix on their consoles, for God's sake. They've got uh, their own version of Netflix, which, like, no one really uses. I reckon they've used it and realised that it's rubbish and they'll get a load of complaints. Sony are a very open-ended company. You know what Microsoft are like now? They're hacking bits off the, their Xbox Ones just so people will buy them. Apparently the thing is selling very well, but I... I was about to say I'd trust an Xbox One as far as I could throw it, but... According to the EA, the service allows you to play more games for less as you binge on EA's best Xbox One games, starting with Madden, NFL 25, FIFA 14, Battlefield 4, Peggle 2. Uh, doesn't really say. How does it work? Is it like Netflix where you stream the game? Wait, hold on. Or do you download it? Or do you get it? Is it going to be like uh, buying movies off um, uh, places like Sky, where you rent it, where it deletes itself automatically after about a, three days or so? What? This doesn't sound like. Oops! I mess up. Uh, it's implied <coughs> that. Subscribers will be able to access EA games five days before their release date and play them for at least two hours before they're officially available. With lots of people who keep throwing their new positions specifically mentioned by name. Subscribers will also get 10% off digitally downloaded retail games on Xbox One. Uh, that's it. What is it? How does it work? You can't stream a 50 gigabyte game. It would break the internet. By the looks unless, of it, yeah, that's it. Unless, uh, I know. No, what it no, is. you're not streaming. By the looks of it, you're paying for early access and a discount. What? So you pay monthly for a discount, which at the current release rate of games. Is that it? You don't download the game. Because the way it, it, it was worded earlier, it sounded like you actually like download the thing. But I, I was about to say this is EA. Are you sure about it? We are researching this. Uh, what's up? So it looks like you can. It says binge on EA's best Xbox One games. What are we looking for again? So, FIFA 40. Well, Rise. the ones that we announced. Yeah. No. Rise is an EA game. It's not worth that. No, it's not a Crytek. Yeah. Okay. Uh, more to come in future. It's more than $100 worth of games for three ninety nine. Oh, so you can play those. Right. 10% discount on EA digital purchases on Xbox One. What's that mean, then? So, it's effectively like a loyalty card. 
I don't, I don't get it because it's saying that it's saying at the top you can play games like Battlefield 4 in this vault I can thing. Do that already. They call it the vault. And then play for less. So an additional perk, EA Access members get an exclusive 10% discount on EA digital purchases from on Xbox One. So it looks like you, you're not actually buying the f games. Not. Unless that's implying that they can take them off at any time. Well, what it's I reckon what it's suggesting is it's gonna be like a sky thing where you don't where you have it, but it deletes itself after every so often. It's gonna be one yeah. of those things where the subscription fee is about how much is it, three ninety nine? But you'll have to pay to download so you but you'll yeah. rent the game. This is EA we're on about, remember. At the moment, the only games you can play, play with it are Battlefield 4, Madden 25, FIFA 14, and Peggle 2. That's it. Peggle? Sold? That's four games. It's about as, that's, I think that is the Xbox One and PS4 roster. I mean, fair enough, honest. if you are going to just put, just play to try it out because you don't want to spend 50 quid, then that might be a good thing. But if you plan on keeping them... I would you shelled out so you could just put towards... I mean, most... Game retailers have refund policies, so yeah, exactly. that's something you can't do with digital downloads. Exactly, which is really annoying. Which is why it's all very well on Steam. I've I've always said that everyone goes on about digital downloads. They have their place, but no time soon will they be taking over from physical copies. If they reflect what you if the prices would reflect what you're actually getting, then fair enough. It's the way that still on the marketplace, you can't get a new release game. And when you get one of the latest games, it's probably more expensive than buying a disc. Why don't you just buy the disc? The buyers can trade it in then. Exactly. Put it towards your other, put it towards other games. If you, got, if you play exclusive, if you've got a PS4 or Xbox One, playing uh, paying for games as, as like a download is going to be unbelievably expensive yeah. whereas if you buy it physically you'll have that one expense but you'll get the others for a lot cheaper wow. it doesn't make any sense to me someone spent at least 10 minutes making that tank I know it's very proportional <laughs> isn't it <laughs> before I'll put a box here and a box or so a bo uh, box on that one mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's the three stooges <laughs> Can you pass on that? No, I would if I could. <laughs> you smoke yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it really did stop firing in every. <laughs> he still doesn't know what's going on. He's a slow one. <laughs> I will hit him with my cape. I don't understand how doing that stuns them. That. No, I don't either. Well, it's because it's mental, isn't it? You've been attacked. So you've Take my jacket. You've <laughs> just been... Hold my coat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a... I think we might have the dead... The Deathstroke fight. Oh, yeah. That's energetic, if nothing else. You wanna get cut, Batman? Looks like someone brought a bat to a knife fight. Right. You got no idea what's coming. <laughs> come on, come on! Welcome to this game. <laughs> Take my jacket. You know why we're going blindly, you first round. <laughs> That's why I keep you boys around. Oh, uh, there's two Englishmen. I find it horrible that they give the uh, the guy for the Cockney accent to the American dude. To, to speak. It's awful. No one's Australia. No one, and not everyone in England, talks like that. We are not all Cockneys. Is hosting some kind of fighting tournament. Or Australian. Or Australian, in Australian, this case. Well, Australians are. Well, the majority of Australians are cockneys, aren't they? Through. Uh, through a process of deportation. Through. <laughs> through I was about to say process of uh, lean use then, but yeah, process of deportation. Sounds about right. Come here.
damn it, I hate it when that happens. When you do some really awesome moves and then someone's standing a bit further away than the reach target, so you just end up flailing in mid air. <laughs> Look, it's the Dark Science Avenger of the Night spazzing out over the. Oh, there's. A, if we encounter one of Penguin's other Cockney women, you're gonna cry. Oh, God. It's horrible. He's a proper naughty one, eh? Hey? Proper naughty. No, that's doing it justice. Justice. Hello. What, are you serious? I thought he was like a. Oh, dear Are you for real? I love the uh, Batman is banished to find Vulture's anti gravity belt. Yeah. The hell are you? Didn't take a single hit. It's the fact that some of them he hits him so hard, it's like that would have gone through his face. Yeah. And he's like, nope, never killed anyone. Like, you probably have. You probably have, if we're being honest. If not, there's a lot of people in the medical ward who like vegetables now. Yeah. Why can't he go in the water? Because he spazzes and phases through the... Oh, and you start from the beginning. <laughs> Damn it. First try. <laughs> <laughs> I will watch it. I will get it tomorrow and watch Do it. Do it. It's better be good is all I'm saying. <laughs> So, uh, this week in the news. Dave, what is it? Been? Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, inappropriate. Yeah. Come on. Is the poster? It is indeed. Uh, you explain. I'm. There's a poster of the turtles jumping out of an exploding building. Very tall exploding building. With the September 11th release date of the film on it. And people have cried 9 11. And then EA instead. No, not EA. I'm too busy. I'm too busy slagging off EA. Uh, who is it? Is it Paramount? <coughs> uh, Universal. Paramount. Paramount, yeah. Paraverse. They have. Paramount. Instead of just explaining that it's not a skyscraper or it's got nothing to do with 9 11, they've acknowledged it, taken it down, and issued an apology. Yeah, I don't get that. If you're just saying it's not. Yeah. But I just apologise for the offence caused. And then leave crack it. on. Don't. I dread to think how much money they spent on the. On the yeah. Making that thing. Oh, I didn't even realise that could be opened. That's the way forward, so it better be. <laughs> I thought I found like a Riddler trophy or something. But that would be wrong because the Riddler trophies aren't in this game. Ooh. Oh, is that a plane? Yes, we're on the ship, remember? Right. I don't know. Okay. Hello! Again, dramatic lighting. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now there's a naughty geezer. Proper naughty. And he deserves a right proper welcome. Oh, oh God. He just saved me a lot of trouble, trouble coming here. Yeah, it's bad, man. Yeah, I'll show it to you for oh, this. The bit that's about to happen. I'm going to kill you. Then I'm going to jumpstart your heart. Kill the Bartley Crane. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Be quiet now! <laughs> Do it a ball! No. Is this guy just worth? I want to. Might as well be. I'm looking for Black Mask. Where is he? Ready for a boss fight, though. Ready for a boss fight. Ready for a boss fight. Ready for a boss fight. Are you ready for this boss fight? Because it's really hard and really difficult to do. I mean, it's really struggling. Done. Wow. That's it. Who wants to show me where the penguin is? I do. Oh, nope, nope. No time to drink now. The cockneys are, are descending. I'll teach you to do those accents badly. Don't 
Stop picking up crates! No. See ya. I don't understand why companies uh, have to feel need to appease everyone and make everyone happy. No sensible individual would ever assume that it was a 9-11 relation to it. Exactly. Who's going to go to the turtle shell that? Oh my god, that building exploded. That's a reference to 9-11. Yeah. Guess it was a horrible thing. Yeah, but, you know, the film Remember Me has an unbelievably inoffensive and really cheap nod to 9-11 and no one better than that. Does it? You ever seen it? No. Oh, I did. Is that what? with Patterson? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I have my reasons for watching it. Right. Because of your love of Robert Patterson. Shovel face. Shovel <laughs> <laughs> to go, what's the uh, uh, bog standard, very boring romance film. Blah 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 blah. blah. I just want to we'll, we'll never see each other again. Oh, we will. Uh, it's gonna be so much better. Go soon to it oh. where his dad works. Camera pan is back. It's in the Twin Towers. Newspaper flashes by with it. Uh, not, not all right, all right. Then, that, cut, yeah, he's really cheap. then cuts back to a gravestone of when he died. I, at this point, just <laughs> got up and went, No, 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 no. And the person I was watching it with was like, Oh, it's so emotional. It's awful. Wow. You need to see Rain over there. That worked better that than I do I need to see Rain over really me, well. apparently, because that's supposed to be really good. It's fantastic, film. Even if uh, the, uh, the mentally retarded person is in it. Yeah, and he's brilliant in it. Which, again, I've heard. He could do so much better than all the comedies that he does. He could do so much better than everything he does. Just leave it like that. Yeah, what comedies? Well, he could do so much better than Happy Gilmore. I was Gilmore. about to say, he hasn't <laughs> done any comedies, has he? I like Happy Gilmore. I ain't seen that. Good film. I do, I do like that. Yeah. It's a very quotable film. Because it's all over the hit. I've seen, seen Anger Management. That was... I laughed once. Um, I can't remember that one. Uh, it's all Jack Nicholson. Alright. Oh, uh, what else is there? Nah. Who is it? I can't remember what it is. What they're quite like. Can't remember. I doubt it was, a, it was one at all. <laughs> uh, it, it was pretty awful. So, Filmed. What have you watched? I haven't seen anything. Really? Really. That's you. I've been too busy being ill. Culture corner. Well, one of us came prepared. Oh, yeah. I watched Mandela. Oh, in your cell Is uh, he playing, actually playing Mandela? Yeah, in like all the stages of his life. So, you wow. know, young anarchist, uh, prison, and then uh, old, older version as well. Wow. It's actually really good. Big fan of Idris Elba. Uh, yeah, so. Idris Elba is really good in it as well. Um, there's an old Harry, there's a, a fairly recent Hallow, uh, Harry Enfield sketch where it does an impression of Nelson Mandela, which is, every time I, I hear him now, it's just like, I can't see anything else. He's like yeah. promoting his own crack and things like that, and like his own alcohol pop. This, the way Idris Elba does it, is... It's not a caricature or impression. Yeah. It is how yeah. he talks and his mannerisms. Obviously, I've never met Nelson, ah, Nelson Mandela. I never will. I never Well, unless the device is completed. <laughs> um, but, you know, what I've seen from interviews and whatever, the way he's like, he like talks and his moves and his mannerisms, it, Idris Elba appears to have done it pretty much spot on. Wow. Uh, oh, what was the point in that then? <laughs> but Chinsky's come too, and now he's on the lamb. I should have tied him up and called the cops to get him. Alfred, I oh, had to run in one of the assassins. Yes, 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 he just yes, used the stairs. Uh, lighting wasn't good enough. Oh, that's why you got it. Lighting wasn't good enough, so. Oh. Couldn't, have do couldn't be doing that. 
Anyway. So yeah, Ninja Turtles 911. The film's gonna be awful anyway, so I don't wanna leave the toss. What else have we got? Uh I will consult. Consult the tab. Ooh. Batman is incredible fear of greats. Hmm. I'm sure that's a reference to something, I can't think what. The casino. Penguin's assistant must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find the Elise? Office. Assassin's Creed Unity? So what? Female character? Yeah. That's it, they've just they've released right, a female character. Right. Hey, you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh oh. Thinking Imagine you your female character for Assassin's Creed. What's that, playable or just character? Uh, it says character. She's an assassin. Cool. cool. Fantastic. Is that all they said? I think it might want, might be one of the, oh, one of the main assassins. Tiny me bottle. Might be one of the main main assassins. I really can't speak. Well. <sighs> Because Ubisoft are all about the multiplayer at the minute, including their Far Cry 4 demo, all they ever went on about, ow, is um, Far Cry 4's multiplayer, to which I speak for entire English when I say, no one cares, we play it for the single player. At least with Far Cry anyway. I can't cry, definitely. There were games like Assassin's Battlefield Creed, that you buy for I didn't even touch the multiplayer on. There are those who say it's like really it. good. Yeah. There are people who say it's rubbish. I don't know, I will never play it. I play Assassin's Creed for the story. Which, yeah. are, which thank goodness for 4, because the story was getting pretty uh, stupid. It can't be so anyway with the aliens. Things they're like not that. aliens, they're the ones that came before. Aliens. The ones that came before. Aliens. aliens. They're not aliens. They're aliens. They're not aliens. <laughs> Disarm him! <laughs> they're not aliens. Definitely aliens. <laughs> Come on! Take him out. I'm about to be clobbered. I'll finish you quick. No, 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 no. Got him. Uh, right, so, yeah, it sounds great, Unity. Uh, looking forward to that game immensely, but I kind of feel that uh, they're holding a lot back. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Well, we've had a lot of gameplay footage, but it's not really showing anything that's brand new. I mean, we've got the, ups the scaling up and down of the buildings now. Yeah. Which is all very good. Uh, but nothing which I'd consider, which I've looked at and gone, this pass, I can't open this, this door. I need I to, to find a way into that security yeah. room to access Oh, Lord, the I can't theater. remember which way it is to get there now. It's that wall, isn't it? No, there's a trigger. Some oh, there it is. Um... Uh, I mean, I will get it on release day. I am looking forward to it, but right. Oh, I, s I remember what you got to do now. Memory serves. Memory serves. You're supposed to get closer to the thing. Um, the, the release for this year for me though is by uh, well, the top five releases for this year. Cause there are only five releases. Are um, not in particular order. Far Cry. Uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, Call of Duty, and FIFA. FIFA? I like, I've gotten into FIFA quite a lot now. Uh, I've played quite a, quite a bit. Yeah, but nothing's going to be making a difference, is it? Really? Um, from a managerial point of view, it's going to be completely different now. Right. I hate you so much. But from a player buying perspective, because we've had the World Cup, Right. It's going to alter the gameplay and the style you've got to adopt now completely different because they will alter things according to what the players have done. 
and you know we saw a lot of like different uh, it's going to be very different from normal because obviously you know we have Brazil failing miserably we had um, what else did we have yeah but in terms of playing the match it's going to be no, the same there's, as there's the last always one. changes I mean don't get me wrong some of them are really subtle but there are changes huh. Uh, if you were to play, like, we, when we do our Let's Plays, we play Beep 12, when I go on and play Beep 14, that's two games, no, and it's completely Candy. different. Mm. Yeah. She's earned herself a dry slap, she has. That better be lip gloss you're Oops. reaching for. That could have been awkward. Oi! You can't do this! I'm claustrophobic, I am! No one says I am after... Apart from in the song oh. Henry VIII. Come on, enough's enough. Open her up and let me out. Oh, man, Henry VIII. Why couldn't they just get someone with the proper accent? Well, I thought that they got Nolan North to do the accents for the for like the penguin. Right. Now, obviously, he's a big. He's done like people like uh, on, uh, Drake from Uncharted and all that. Right. So you know he's really um, I knew you experienced. Done. Uh, voice acting. But I can't help feel, why didn't you get someone who was English? They got someone English to do Alfred. Yeah. Someone's gonna burst through that door, aren't they? The second I try and open it. Oh, he's caught me. He's caught me. He's charging. <laughs> he's run into the opposite direction. What am I supposed to do? Oh, is this one you've got to, uh... Here it comes. Oh, yeah. They're all mine. Oops. No, 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 no. He's got a gun. Oh, not again. So, uh... Ah, we spoke uh, briefly in our Minecraft Let's Play about uh, Lord of the Rings. Is there any uh, other Lord of the Rings related cast news? Lord of the Rings. Long haired individuals, good repose. Hobbits. Long haired <laughs> elves. Uh, you, you, you still said Lord of the Rings, it's the Hobbit. Uh, Shut the hell. Ah! Ah! Legolas is, is only in Lord of the Rings. Uh, he's not in The Hobbit, so uh, I Except he is, because I've seen him. <laughs> I've watched the film. <laughs> I've, I've, I've I seen have the seen film, him. I have. <laughs> oh, oh I tell on. you different! Uh, well, yeah, he's put it's Justin Bieber. Oh. Yes. All of you. Love you it. No idea what you're starting. Because you Justin Bieber has been flirting done. with... Finish. Or was flirting empire. with his wife. Now oh, ex-wife. Blessed are the meek. Yeah. Hello. Goodbye. I just wish you'd actually not do that. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Would have been beautiful. But, you know, I've gone over them. The Which button is it? That's the one. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> no, if you have pulled both triggers at the same time, you go into a cinematic version of it. Whereas if you just do it like that, that's all he does. Wow. <laughs> I found that out by ma when I dropped the controller when I was doing this once. <laughs> Hello. Glomp. Here we go! It, he missed! Did you see that? <laughs> I went to do a ground takedown and he missed. I've never seen that happen before. Are they all going to go up there? No, just you? Okay. I don't bother with stealthing in this game. Uh, gotcha. I got him! Over here! He's using smoke! He's using smoke, buddy. Now <laughs> yeah, I'm fully aware I said I didn't use uh I'm fully aware I just said the phrase I don't use uh, what's it in this game, stealth. 
He hasn't seen me. He has seen me, he's just shot someone I was supposed to save. <laughs> yeah, he totally saw you. Boys, boys, get him out of here. And don't dig up any of the gear. That's worth some money. <sighs> Got it. Horrible. First time I've died in the f in let's somewhere past the halfway point in an Arkham game. So why did uh, we've gone over why Legolas punched uh, what's his name? That's the one. This has been bankrupt recently, didn't I read? Uh, is it? Oh no, that was Lady Gaga. Really? Yeah. Google that. I'm sure I read that somewhere. If we're being honest, she hasn't done anything for a, a while, is she? What the? Not that I'm aware of anyway, but mind you, no, I, haven't got, really. I haven't got my finger on the pulse of... Uh... Well, there aren't any new releases. We wouldn't know, would we? Well, you know Nicholas Cage has been bankrupt before. Did you know Nicholas Cage is the... Uh... The nephew of Francis Ford, Ford Coppola. The who? Francis. What? Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah. Directed The Godfather. Oh, is he? All right, so nothing rubbed off on him. Then. Well, he changed his name to Cage after Luke Cage uh, from Marvel. No way. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was reading about up about the Vision. Uh, see, I do my research. Uh, <laughs> I can't take this. Beautiful. And you missed that. I did miss that. Um, I'll watch it back. Medium. I oh, think they int introduced on this as well. Well, they more drove it home was the um, the grading system. Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Try to Is that really released a, a shot of the vision? He disagreed well, and called you a, a let's see, Probably, psychotic yeah. little bastard. No, 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 please. Be see what it looks like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Paul Bettany is very excited about it. Well, yeah. as you as you would be if someone just put now you a best listen, full of money Balcony. And, yeah, fancy being in a green suit for that for a time. I'll yeah, exactly. Ask. I'm sure it's a lot more complex and harder than that, but. Uh, <laughs> what oh. are you gonna oh. tell your father? Oh, Give me the cricket. Now we're getting out of um, weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. Who's, oh, that's. <laughs> I'll see you, little rabbit. But they ain't making the sound. It looks really interesting if it isn't. Oh, 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 Did you? Every time I see a cat upon man, it reminds me of uh, the time that Johnny Depp met him for a stunt. Please, don't hurt me. Sorry, have you heard about that? No. Apparently, uh, Johnny Depp was great friends with him. Right. And uh, <laughs> when they first met, he was sitting at the back of the bar. In, uh, and uh, he, he suddenly heard this sound of screaming, like someone like in a flat panic and stamping with people. Right. And sparks went from like the crowd. Yeah. And apparently, he, Hunter S. Thompson was walking towards Johnny Depp with a taser in one hand, a cattle prod in the other. <laughs> With a cigar in his mouth, going, Out of the way, you bastard! I yeah, like, got him out of the way to get to meet him. Wow. <laughs> That's terrible. Black mask. Put a bounty on my head. Where is he? I don't kick tabs on him and Gita with a grudge. You're not a popular bloke in this town. <laughs> You're running out of time. I'm trying to find Wait. more set photos of uh, Ice Ultron. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's a big jump. 
Tell me where I can find Black Mask. Make no mistake. I'm killing you for the money. <laughs> Help you think less. God. This looks familiar, isn't it? Almost like the same animation as that the uh, boss fight with Azagul. Is it? Oh, God. So he was. Do you know how he lost his eye? What? Green arrow. <laughs> Do you know who his name inspired it? Well, basically Marvel taking the piss out of that character. Deathstroke. Uh, Deadpool. Or Wade Wilson. Really? Yep. So, Slade Wilson and Wade Wilson. Yeah. Uh, can you kill Deadpool by cutting off his head? No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> oh, I hate sure this. Happened. I hate this gadget so much. He's got this gadget which is like a, a, a multiplier of the bat core. Right. Oh. What is this Every time. So Wade Wilson is a, is a uh, an, a subtle <laughs> subtle nod to Wade Wade a uh, slave Wilson. It's a it's a direct piss take. Why? Because I can. Hasn't there been quite a few of those that he's in uh, Marvel Wars <laughs> history? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I like the idea that uh, they do just. Take the piss out of each other every now and Well, there wasn't there similarities made between certain characters like, uh, well, obviously Green Arrow and Haw Hawkeye. Um, there is only one issue with Marvel's argument that uh, Green Arrow came almost 30 years before yeah. Hawkeye. Um, the other one as well is uh, Dark Side and. Who's the world eater? Galactus. Galactus and the the same person. Like, like worryingly similar. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. No! Oops. He does sort of look like Deadpool. Know that you die with honor, which is more than can be He's said. He's hinted to be most. the one of the bad guys in uh, Dawn of Justice. <laughs> oh, he could take on a lot of them. Um, how do they do it convincingly? He could, he could eat. Well, as you've just seen, he easily takes on Brian Black. Right. I expect you'll be worth every penny of that fifty million. You Your training is inadequate. The reason he's so good, and the reason he could beat anyone in a fight from any DC universe, include any uh, or Marvel, he could. I reckon he could beat Deadpool. He uh, changes his fighting style. All right. He never does the same move twice, which is a bit worrying in this game because he will do it quite a lot. <laughs> Uh, he, he's openly said in uh, like this, some of the comics I've read that he'll never do the same move twice because of the way it gets predictable. This I is know everyone's downfall. Surprising. Uh, and he is 
Nope, nope, nope. Yeah! See what I mean? This looks like the Raza Ghoul fight from the city. Yeah. Where did he get that stick coming from? Here. Okay. You had him? Didn't you just like... Oh, oh no. I, I did you fail? Yeah, I died. Oh, after, he pull, after you get rid of the... Uh, the staff, he pulls a uh, samurai sword. Need to be Obviously that does a bit more damage. Especially on this difficulty as well. Because obviously his health bar just doesn't go down. Oh, and I just failed at the... And the camera wasn't helping there either. Come on, stop doing that as well. Stop doing that as well. Smash, 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 There we go, he's got to break it again, he pulls out somewhere. Oh, he could use it. Don't pick out the plot holes in this boss fight, we'll be able to do it. Stop doing the flippy over manoeuvre! <laughs> yeah, boss fights have never been Yarkin against strong point, but work. this is taking them away. Yeah. Especially later on with uh, Bane. <laughs> Fail the counter, watch carefully for your own. I tried it! No, oh, whatever. Coincidentally enough, we've reached our point. We now, have. obviously, I'm not very good at these games, but uh, we're on hard, so well give me some for, so me some I credit for getting at least that far. Faster, smarter. <laughs> okay, don't. So no. <laughs> None at all. None. Fail. None. <laughs> oh, well. Thanks for watching. Uh, next week, might be we may or may not have a video because I am swanning off to get very drunk in a field in Litchfield. <laughs> also known as Blood Pipe. Uh, I expect so. I, th I reckon we'll try. I'll try. We'll try and get some. Yeah. It's Dave's choice next week, so I Ooh. think I know what he's got planned. We, we shall see. Bye bye. Bye.